Hey everyone, my name is Amy Kadora and I'm the Chief Mission Officer for a company called Norwex. And for more, actually coming up on our 30th anniversary this next year, um, for those 30 years, we've been really committed to bringing education and awareness about our exposures to harmful chemicals and the potential health challenges, health impacts that they can have on us, um, and also the, the challenges that they can pose for our environment as well. So Julie asked me to come and share just a little bit about some of the research we've uncovered. Um, and hopefully make you aware uh, of what those harmful chemicals can do and maybe inspire you to learn a little bit more about this issue. I know from Julie that many of you are leading a healthy lifestyle, you're eating right, you're exercising, you're keeping your stress down, but you may not be aware of another factor that can be impacting your health, which are the chemicals that we are exposed to, the harmful chemicals that we are exposed to um, even on a daily basis, day in and day out for much of our lives. Um, the probably the first research that really got everyone's attention a little piece of research was back in 2009 when a group called the environmental working group ewg.org actually tested the blood of 10 newborns the cord blood of 10 newborns because up until that point it was assumed that the mother's placenta would protect the the baby from anything that might the mom might be exposed to or even the body burden that she already carried of those harmful chemicals for all of her life's exposures to those chemicals and what that study showed was uh, from each of the samples up to 200 um, different contaminants in there many of those contaminants um, known to cause health issues, health concerns for us. So I listed them here, BPA, bisphenol A, which was found in the cord blood, flame retardants, PFBAs, which is um, a class, uh, kind of the, the, the non-stick uh, materials. It's in that classification of chemicals, uh, perchlorate, which is rocket fuel, um, and of course, forever chemicals, which are chemicals that stay in us and in the environment for a very, very long time, so long that they call them forever chemicals. So this study was the big one that I think became the catalyst for everyone to rally around and say, we need even more research. There's clearly a problem because our body burden, our chemical romance actually begins before we're even born. Additionally, biomonitoring studies that have been done in, in different countries around the globe have found up to 420 different contaminants and chemicals in the blood um, or urine of adults. And many of those are known to be carcinogens. They're known to be endocrine disrupting chemicals. So even as adults, we, because of the exposures to our environment in our homes, um, outside, uh, through through work, you know, especially if we work in a factory or at a manufacturing facility that makes these chemicals, we have a lot of exposures that build up in our bodies. There was also a University of Bergen study done in Norway, which looked, it was a longitudinal study, it looked at um, the lung function of people who use traditional uh, aerosol types of household cleaners. And what it found is those uh, people that use those chemicals over a uh, span of 20 years, they had the equivalent lung function of somebody, so, somebody, someone, somebody, someone who had smoked a pack of cigarettes a day for those 20 years. So just from using those traditional cleaning products and of course the volatile organic compounds, the VOCs, that are emitted from those and their exposures to those products throughout um, the week and, and then of course throughout their life cycle. So all of these studies, oh and I just was noticing in my notes here, they also had a 40% higher risk of developing asthma, those people that were using those traditional spray cleaners. So when we look at those key studies, um, it, I think leaving you with this, that it is really just the tip of the iceberg. In my 30 years of looking at these studies, um, uh, really becoming a passionate advocate for getting as many chemicals out of our lives as we can, and, and harmful chemicals, because some chemicals are good, water is a chemical, but really looking at those harmful chemicals that can have an impact us on our families um, is, is something that we're very passionate about. But 
I also think we're going to continue to see even more and more research coming out. In fact, there's not really a week that goes by that I don't get um, a study sent to my inbox talking about um, a class of chemicals um, or you know specific chemicals and their impact on us, on the human body. I think the bigger challenge too is that we don't actually know what happens when those 400 different contaminants that can be found in our blood and urine, what happens when they get together in the body? What's the impact? That's research that we, we really haven't even touched yet. So it's bad enough that we have a lot of them in our body. Um, we know a little, a few of them, we know the impacts, but we definitely don't know what happens when they get together. Um, so we, we often talk about how it feels a little bit like we're part of this global experiment where we're being exposed to chemicals uh, some of them uh, will have no impact, uh, some of them will have a negative impact, um, and we just don't know right now. So um, removing harmful chemicals from our homes, um, from our schools, where our kids are, that is an easy way for us to make a difference um, and try to get our own body burden of those chemicals down. I'm a firm believer that when you do that, your body is amazing and um, as we take away, it gets even better and more efficient at being able to um, to process those chemicals as, as your body is exposed to them. So um, Julie's gonna talk a little bit more about some of the options um, and ideas that we have about getting rid of some of those harmful chemicals. I think you're gonna be impressed with how simple and easy it is. Um, and you're also gonna be impressed with how effective it can be. Um, but I'm excited for you to hear a little bit more from her. And don't forget that in addition to products that you clean with, the products you use on your body, on your skin, that's another uh, primary route for those exposures to chemicals to actually get into your body as well. So um, lots of different alternatives for you there. Certainly Norwex has options for you um, and, and hopefully gonna help you become an avid reader of ingredients to see products and, and weed out those products that have those potentially harmful chemicals in them. Um, so I'm wishing you a, a wonderful conference, wishing you health and wellness, and uh, hopefully inspiring you a little bit to get out and learn more about this very important topic and making those changes in your life and um, in your school as well to keep everybody um, as free from those harmful exposures as we can. Thank you.